okay here everyone you can all see my screen correct yes sir good hmm so i have one incident right so this is the incident now you know what is problem what is the problem what is the incident yes yes what is the between incident and a problem issue More came with uh, one person that is the uh, incident issue came a uh, same issue came with uh, multiple person that is the problems mm -hmm. good if it comes to one person incident if it comes to multiple people it's problem okay good what else uh, sir in incident we give root cause like a temporary solution but in a problem we find the permanent solution and the quality solution if the issue uh, occurs repeatedly repeated issue hmm. what else problem is nothing but uh, it is impacting some more users so they may be okay a uh, specific department uh, and the department is down or multiple users are facing the issue at the same time Multiple. The incident is so okay, we can cancel. Yeah, inc incident is uh, for single users. Right? Okay. okay, so uh, sir, uh, in incident like we have a time foundation, like specific time of period we have to resolve like uh, as a basis. Hmm. And the problem can be investigated like uh, for a week or a month. Like we don't have that uh, uh, pressure of time foundation. We need a quality solution. So if the okay. problem is created, there is no time to fix it. Huh? In, we can take uh, five days, ten days. Huh? Yes, sir. Like yeah, it can be uh, remain in progress for a week or month, like, yeah. because we needed a permanent solution. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. What else? right so sir, in incident, uh, we have only one task like that is an incident task but in a problem we have two types of like different tasks rc and in the general task. hmm. okay so see here uh they are partially right the definitions that you given okay but not completely right okay so first of all single versus multiple okay if a single user got the incident that is an incident if 10 users 20 users got the issue then it's problem no it is not actually the problem definition okay first, it is major first thing okay second thing someone said okay which need a an rca root cause analysis okay root cause analysis is in right only okay problem need root cause analysis but even incident is also need in root cause analysis if one incident is created you need to fix that incident now to fix that incident at least you need to know where it is written why it is created and then you need to fix the issue Correct. There also you need to know what is root. Am I right? Yes or no? Without knowing, yes, sir. Without knowing the uh, origin and where it is created from, you can't fix the issue, right? Okay. So RCA, they, uh, they have the terminology, but when it comes to process, both are same. Okay. Second thing. Third thing, right? repeated issues right very carefully understand this one this is actually a myth many people will please keep it unmute so repeated issue means okay i will tell you one example right in organizations there is a common issue that creates every monday huge in a huge number called password reset 
everyone know this one what is password reset yes sir. yes password reset is nothing but in your organization you will be having one user account okay so you normally log into that if you try password for three times your password will lock same like how it will lock for uh, mobile like something mobile banking application or something okay so if it fails if it locks you can't log in okay it is something like this okay windows domain login right so in organizations once you get into any company you will log into your pc like this this is how you log in okay so it will be a domain your company name okay your account name your account id means user id okay and then password this is your domain this is your user id this is your password if you enter your password for three times wrongly now okay like something like this right then it will lock your password will lock okay if it lock it then you can't log into the system okay then what you do if you can't log into the system and if it is locked what you do what you do ma we have to reset the password release it hmm. so we need to reset the password who will reset the password support developer team so we will be having local service desk okay where we will call them and then they will reset the password where they will reset the password our domain accounts will be created in active directory okay there is a tool called active directory okay where our user id details our user account details will be created in the first day itself okay so when you join to an organization your account will be created the same account will be shared to you where you used to log into the system okay so if it is reset now if your account is locked okay you need to call them they will take your call and then they will ask your identity and all and then they will say reset your password okay they will reset your password okay now they will go here and then they will check it and then save okay and now they will say after five minutes you try so monday morning or a long weekend next day immediately business day the amount of password reset tickets will be huge deputy do so if this is a issue will they create a problem deputy do issue no 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 so can repeated issues can be considered as problem no no okay so fourth one as someone said okay the definition of problem is something like to skip it and mute okay it is a issue but the magnitude and severity of the issue is very huge please skip it and mute okay that means it have a huge impact on a service and its service is completely stopped issue is something like you have an alternative okay you, I, one issue created right you reported it is your work stopped no maybe you have another alternative to proceed it and magnitude service request what is service request uh, we can create a form where like uh, it can be assigned to a team they can request to change the password or reset and automatically it will get uh, some new password no so we are talking about the definition of problem i am not telling about the solution of it okay the discussion right so now what i am trying to say is the magnitude and severity of the issue defines whether it is a incident or a problem okay so magnitude one is one person got the issue small issue or big issue whatever it is and his work is stopped can it be considered as a problem 
no because magnitude is less here okay then the same issue is caused per 100 people or one department then it can be considered as a problem okay so magnitude is must here if one person single user create guard the issue then we don't consider that as a problem it's an incident only but it is going beyond and okay it need lot of attention and fix then it should be treated as a problem someone said okay incident have time bound sls but problem doesn't have sls okay completely wrong statement okay when a problem is created okay what happens is immediately one call will start okay we call it as a hyper care call or whatever it is okay so what happens is there will be a kind of team emergency team we call it as a knock team okay knock knock the door something like this nvc team okay so if any this kind of big issues which have a very huge impact on the service is created then this knock team will be intimated what they do is they will just open the call first thing and whoever created that issue they will add him then the issue is related where that team will be dragged that 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 team will check it and they said it's not issue with us it's a database issue then they will drag database team they will say it's an, it's a specific application team application issue then they will drag application people so during the till the issue completed the call will be opened okay someone needs to be represented from each team whoever or belongs to that issue okay and they will do few steps problem management life cycle okay identification okay rca root cause analysis then issue fix okay identify the fix right and then release it okay these four steps they will do and how much time they have sir no time if they can wait in the call for 7 days without eating food without going home then they can wait because till the time the issue fixed the call will be open there is no sla here okay so this is the problem management okay very good so why i tell this one is very important definition incident versus problem okay and here for our definition for our discussion why problem is needed is let's say okay people are started on seeing some disturbance okay one incident is created and one second more one incident is created and it's going on going on going on okay so if it is going on going on going on so they need to create a problem right so when they want to create a problem now they can go and create a problem like this okay they can go and create a problem say new and then just give everything and all like they can do right instead if they want to create a problem okay from the incident where it, they want to create they can create from here also so see see here i right click on the incident form and then say create problem right if i say create everyone can see my screen you are all there ma ha huh. so if they can see yes. huh, if they can see create problem now if they click it what happens is right automatically a problem will be created now one problem created very good okay this problem uh, sir like we have uh, seen the difference of uh, like uh, 
incident and problem like it is a major difference is basically severity and magnitude and we have one thing in service now uh, that is major incident management so sir what is the then uh, use of this one like with respect to incident and problem when we use this problem is separately a problem major incident management is incident only the table is incident only okay and it works making the incident on priority okay generally what happens is just see here okay this is actually one of the very important point actually okay incident management is there okay problem management is there first simple thing is not every process will have problem management managing the problem management is too much difficult okay say they will say i don't want problem management at all first of all if they don't have problem management then how they control the severe issues i don't have problem management then everyone every incident will be an incident for me i don't care i have three days sla five days sla or eight hours sla if someone says i am dying i will say i will come and fix in eight hours okay because i have the sls good so how when you don't have a problem management then how you handle the severity of critical issues okay so that okay. uh, that you can take it with the use of okay major incident management okay major okay, incident, okay, uh, okay. major incident management is the incident management only but making it to more prioritized so here when you have major incident management there will be a separate team a group will be created major incident management group and for the entire process there will be a major incident manager will be there okay first thing now process okay. side when an incident is created and if i feel like this can be a major incident then we will create a major incident application major escalate as major incident here okay mm -hmm. we, yes, we, have that uh, we will create a ua action here when we create a ua action uh, escalate as major incident then what system will do is it will route this ticket to major incident management group and also the major incident manager will intimate this ticket he will get an alert like one ticket is escalated as major incident management then what he will do he will do the kind of same process he will start the knock process knock process will okay initiate all the people open an hyper call and then try to fix it so it's a kind of alternative of problem management where people don't want to implement problem management they will implement major incident management it's a kind of small scale implementation understood now yes sir got it here maybe if you have major incident management in your process observe it go to the incident and then see here and then look for major incident manager who is the manager who, who is the major incident manager for your process and that group and all then you will understand it okay good okay sir mm -hmm.